Hello, my name is Pajos Athanasios. Today we will see how to add reviews. I have just created a template here and I'm on the product page. So your first steps would be to open your site, enable the developer tools by clicking to non-developer tools and let's start by adding your database. You will need a database called reviews or you can name it however you want and once you create that database Within the database, you will need some fields. The first field is the products. You click Add Field, Products, and as field type, you need to select Reference and select this database here, Products, and click Add. Then you need the ratings. Again, Add Field, Ratings. This should be a number. Reviewer name, reviewer name, this should be a text, this should also be a text, the reviewer comment, and if you want, optionally you can have an image. And for an image you should select image here. Once you have created your database, your next step is to find the page that Wix Store has to display its product. So on this page, you will need to add some elements. Let's start from the box. You just need a box, a text, and a button that says write a review. Obviously, that's just my design preference. You can decide any way you want. You can have the button on top, you can have the button below, anywhere you want. I just wanted to lay out like this. Also, a thing you need to be careful when you're designing it you need to use this drag here and uh, move it as as far as it goes so that it sticks to the above element which is our product page element so drag it and move it as top as possible until it doesn't move anymore once you have created that box you're going to need a repeater you can add a repeater by clicking add list and grids basically here I just have two texts one for the name and one for the command itself and one rating display you can get the rating display by clicking add user input and rating display drag it into the repeater and it's ready once you have all these elements oh, also you're going to need one button below the repeater that says a lot more just a normal button, design it the way you want it and leave it there. The next step is to connect the repeater. Actually, yeah. The next step is to add the data set. You click Add, Database and Data Set. I already have my data set here, so let me quickly show you the configuration you need to make. Once you add the data set, you need to click the Reviews or however you have named your database here you need to select that as name I have used repeater data set you can have whatever you want you need to use read only for that and the number of items to display you need to have that as 20 so number of items to display 20 you are going to need another data set again by clicking add database and data set but this one is going to be write only. You are going to again select reviews or however you have named your database. And you this data set you will have it as write only. So once you have added those data sets, you will connect the repeater by clicking connect to data to the repeater data set, which is this one, the one that is read only. In my case, it's called repeater data set. You need to connect that to the repeater and connect the elements to the repeater as well, to the data set, I'm sorry. And the rating display again to the repeater data set. The ratings display will be connected to the ratings number. Rating value connects to ratings number. Once you have done that, you need to create a box 
and this box here I have pinned it to the left so that it gives a feel of popping up. You can have it below the right review, you can have it anywhere you want. I just used it like that because I wanted the layout to be like that. So here you're going to need three inputs, one for the name, one for the comment, and one radio button for the review. You click add user input, the text inputs are on the top, I used an input and a text input, text input for the comment, and the radio button for the star rating. And then you connect these by clicking connect to data to the new review dataset, or however you have named it, to the according field. Review name, this is a comment, and this is a submit. Link connects to submit. Once you have done those connections, the next thing you need to do is use the code generator. I will have the link in the description. So, it asks for the product page ID. Let's see where we get that from. You get it from this element on the top. It's usually going to be product page one. But just to be sure, click on that element here and get that ID from here. Remember, you need to have the hashtag. Add review button. This button is this button right here, the one that creates the new review. So we copy that and paste it here. Repeater ID. In our example is the reviews. So we have here reviews. Repeater dataset. It's this dataset, the read only. The read only dataset is the repeater's dataset. And it's called repeater. New review dataset is the other dataset that is write only. So the write only is this new review dataset. Always be sure to include that hashtag. New review box. New review box is this one here. We paste that here. Radio group ID. It's this one here. Radio group 1. Load more button is the one on the bottom. And close button is that button, that small button here that closes this box. Now we need to open our database and here we need the rating field which is this field and we get the ID from here here you must not enter hashtag and the product is here product ID again here we do not need a hashtag on this field and you click get code the system will display you the code you will just select it and copy it and then open that here, delete whatever is here and paste it. It is that simple. You do not need to change anything on the code. Everything is ready for you. You can go ahead and test the website. I will have the link also this tutorial website on the description for you to test. And if you have any questions, Please write them in the comment, I will try to answer them, and have a nice day.